New at 6 now, Rob threatened and stabbed a homeowner attacked in his own kitchen. His house, the final stop on a late night crime spree. The suspects, two teenagers. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Courtney Fisher is live in Butler County now with where that crime spree began. Courtney? And tonight, those two teenagers are behind bars, but investigators are still trying to figure out why they think they did this. Early Saturday morning, the ambulance had pulled up and there were cops pulling in. At this Carn City home on Olive Street, I really didn't know what was going on. I just saw all that. Two teenagers wearing masks walked through this unlocked back door and robbed the sleeping family. Police say one of the intruders was 19 year old Jeremiah McGrady, the other was a 17 year old. But something went wrong while the teens were inside. I couldn't believe it happened this close to home, and I just feel terrible for his family. The man living here went to the kitchen for a glass of water and found McGrady and his friend. Police say the teens threatened him with a gun. The man tried to fight them. Then McGrady stabbed him several times in the stomach. He's got a wife and three little kids. I mean, it's, I can't imagine what they're feeling. Police say the teens took two cell phones, then ran off. This wasn't the first place McGrady and his friend broke into that morning. Investigators say they vandalized this church a couple lots down. Basically, they made a really big mess. Uh, they had got markers, uh, put graffiti all over the walls and things like that. Police say they don't know why the teens targeted this street. They don't seem to know their victims. Coloring markers on the wall to stabbing somebody. Um, just a couple of people that really seem to have been out to cause some trouble, and uh, trouble is what they caused. Police found and arrested these two on Sunday evening. As for the man who was stabbed, we know he was flown to Allegheny General and he underwent surgery. It was very long surgery. Police say he is stable. As for McGrady, he's charged with attempted homicide and the juvenile's name is not being released. For now, reporting live here in Butler County, Courtney Fisher, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.